while on the liverboard portion of that trip i witnessed something that changed my life and the way i looked at our oceans dramatically i've always felt a very special connection to the element of water from early childhood on actually as far back as i can remember i've always loved being around and in water whether that be a lake, the ocean, or even, even just a bathtub. To this day, I find the texture of water and the many ways it comes in absolutely fascinating. Let alone all the crazy creatures that one can find if you start looking below the surface. So it was naturally only a matter of time before I took my first breath underwater, which happened at around 16 years of age at school in an indoor pool. And even though it was an absolutely amazing feeling of being able to breathe underwater, I didn't really get hooked to diving until I took my first introductory dive in the Red Sea during a vacation in Sharm El Sheikh. The amount of life down there and all the colors just blew my mind. And I knew that this was something that I wanted to have in my life. Back in Switzerland, then other things were more important than learning to dive at that time. So it did take another couple of years before I got my open water certification in 2004 in Cairns, Australia. Yes, on the Great Barrier Reef. It was the official start of a love story that is still ongoing today. In the upcoming years, I dived whenever and wherever I could, getting as much further scuba education as possible. In 2006, I was certified as a dive master and in 2007, I got my open water scuba instructor certification. I still remember this day as being one of the proudest moments of my life. Finally, I was able to share my passion for the underwater world by teaching people how to dive and enabling them to go below the surface and see that world down there for themselves. The next couple of years, I worked as a scuba instructor in places like Bali, Australia, Thailand, and uh, Greece, before returning back to Switzerland in 2011. Back home, I started working for a dive tour operator, selling dive trips to various locations worldwide. Obviously, I had to go and visit many of these locations personally, so I could tell our clients what it was like to be there. I can tell you, it was a tough life. In my first year of working for the dive tour operator, I was lucky enough to lead a group trip with 22 guests to Yap and Palau, two islands in the Pacific with world-class diving. While on the liverboard portion of that trip, I witnessed something that changed my life and the way I looked at our oceans dramatically. After a dive that was supposed to have lots of big fish action, tunas, barracudas, giant trevelis, I overheard a conversation of two guests actually complaining to each other about not seeing enough big fish on that last dive. Well, this alone would not really have been anything special. There's always people complaining about not seeing enough on a dive. But the really weird thing here was that those two guests were complaining about not seeing any tuna while they were having lunch eating tuna steak. That was really weird to me and something happened with me at that moment. I thought how can you complain about not seeing tuna while you're on your dive and then after you come up to the boat you eat tuna. That just doesn't work for me, it doesn't add up. and. I just can't understand this state of mind, not back then and certainly not today. This experience triggered an inner urge within me to do whatever I can to help protect our oceans and the animals that live within them. I immediately stopped eating anything that comes out of our oceans, lakes and rivers. I just didn't want to be part of the problem, but part of the solution. So I started filming my encounters underwater and sharing them with the world and as many people as possible in the hope that 
when people see the wonders that are hidden below the surface, they might start to appreciate and protect our oceans in a different way. It didn't take long for me to realize that I couldn't do much by myself. I just didn't have enough reach. So I started teaching other divers how to capture good video footage underwater and encourage them to share the footage as widely as they could. Alone, we are just one person taking videos underwater. But together, we can show the world the beauty of our oceans, lakes and rivers. My mission is to teach as many divers as I can how to capture their underwater adventures in the best possible way and share them with the world. My name is Matthias and I'm very excited to share all my knowledge and experience about filming underwater with you. Let's show the world why it is so worth protecting our oceans, lakes and rivers. One clip at a time.